everyone, welcome to Anhui Shenxin Aluminum Corporation Limited. Today, I'm gonna show you the whole factory. Okay, let's go. production capacity is 100,000 metric tons. We have more than 40 production lines, including casting, extruding, anodizing, powder coating, wooden grain transfer, thermal brakes, CNC further processing, and so on. Today, we will show you a round of a worker plant. Let's go. to visit our extrusion production line. We have 23 extruder machines ranging from 600 tons to 5,500 tons. With the complete equipped extruder machines, we can extrude various kinds of different of aluminum profiles. For architecture aluminum profiles, we can extrude for doors and windows, curtain walls, curtain tubers, uh, decorative profiles, furniture, and so on for the industrial area. Aluminium plays a very important role in the industry. We can extrude for auto parts, cylinders, heat sink, um, railway transportation, such as the interior parts of uh, uh, subway and uh, the uh, rail transportation, uh, solar, frame, solar frames and brackets industrial assembly profiles, tea slots, and so on. How the aluminum profiles be extruded? Let's take a look. Uh, it's a process of uh, shaping aluminum billets by forcing them into through a die uh, at an extremely high pressure. Now let's see, we will see the, the workers are hitting the aluminum billets and then they will cut them into sections. After the mold and the aluminum billets be heated, they will put into machine. After extrusion, the aluminum profiles will come out. Extrusion, we will develop the molds. From these molds, you can see we can extrude very big profiles. 
the maximum the maximum diameter of a circuit tube can be six three hundred and sixty millimeters. The circum the maximum circum diameter of square cubes can be five hundred and ten millimeters. The section the maximum section length of a plate plate can be five hundred and ten millimeters. Oh. We have 27 years production experiences. Our per, our workers are very skilled. Uh, they know how to reach a balance between temperature and uh, the speed of machines. Look at this. These are aluminum fillets. What kind of uh, aluminum alloys can we extrude? We can extrude the six series, such as 6063, 6005, 6061, 6082, and so on. We can also extrude the seven series, such as 7003 and 7005. For other special aluminum alloys, you can inquire our salesperson. Okay. Hello guys, my name is Lincoln. I will introduce the first step of our anodizing production line. You know the first step, our works will use the clamps or the ties to fix the aluminum profile on the craft. You know, they will use the clamps on the both, both ends of the profiles. They will use clamps or the ties. And, but sometimes if the profile is very light, uh, we will use uh, add another point in the middle in the middle of the profile to make it stable and horizontal so you will see some two or three anodizing marks in the both end of the profile or in the middle of the profile hello everyone my name is lincoln this is the first step of our anodizing production line you know you can see our workers is fixing all the profiles to the shaft using the clamps and the ties to fix it and when all the profiles was fixed up to the shaft, they will be hung up and to the anodizing tank. Now we are standing the anodizing work table. Now you can see we are anodizing the champion color. We can do variable colors such as champion, black, uh, bronze, purple, copper, uh, titanium. This is one. This is the champion color. Uh, you know, our operator will work according to the instructions as our uh, is used by our technical department. Uh, too many parameters can be involved in this instruction, such as the uh, intensity of the current current and uh, the uh, 
let me see. And the time of the anodizing. You know, the time, anodizing time is longer, the color is darker. So the price also is higher. That is why we use uh, more energy to the anodizing. In this workshop, we also can do the electrophoresis. Uh, electros, uh, electrophoresis is the same product line with the anodizing. When finished the anodizing, we also can do the electrophoresis. It's in the same line. When we finish all the pro anodizing processes, you can see all the profiles will be released from the shaft. Then, after our workers will take these uh, uh, profiles that was uh, finished and anodized, they will take, be taken to this package room. You can see here. Now you see a bunch of uh, aluminum profiles are uh, packaged with uh, our shrink film. Each, each bunch of uh, aluminum, prof aluminum profiles were packaged with the shrink film. Now you see the, on the surface of uh, our aluminum profiles, it was applied with the sticky tape. Hello, my friend. I'm Jacob from Senshin Aluminium. Now I'm in our showing room. Today we will show you the power coated aluminium profiles, uh, widely used for windows, for doors, for uh, interior and exterior decoration uh, uh, products. Power coated alumin aluminium profiles they are widely uh, used because uh, for its various colors for, to Compared choose. Compared with the anodizing, this is the advantage of the power coated aluminum profiles because uh, you can uh, choose different colors by sending us the uh, your color cards, your sample, and we can make uh, uh, samples according to your requir requirements. Okay, today now now let's go to uh, our uh, workshop to have a look of our coating production line. Hello everyone, Senshin Aluminium has four coating limes, three powder coating limes and one PVDF coating limes, two horizontal coating limes and two vertical coating limes. This is one of our vertical coating limes. This is one of our two vertical powder coating limes. Its daily output about 100 times per day, and the maximum length is about 7.2 meters. Okay, this is the first step of a powder coating process. We we handle all the profiles on the rack. Before hanging on the rack, our workers will carefully remove the dust on the aluminum profile surface. 
then our workers will drain a hole on one end of the one end of the each profile and then put it on the on the hooks. Now this is the drying oven. After the pretreatment, pretreatment, the, the surface of the aluminum profiles is wet. So we have to dry the surface in this drying oven. Okay, this is the most important step of the powder coating process, the spraying process. You see the powders were smoothly and evenly sprayed on the surface of each profile electrostatically. Okay, this is our powder spraying system. The gamma optical center, gamma optical center. Powder spraying center. As you see, this is a 360 rotating system, which leaves no no blanks on the on each profile surface. Okay, this is the powder brand we are using in the home, supplied by X Nobel, the water famous powder supplier by using the, the, the best powders in the world. <laughs> the quality of our powder coating profiles is stable and the color can last more than 10 years. Okay, this is the final step of the curing process. As you see, this is a bigger curing oven. The temperature is 170 to 200 Celsius degrees. After spraying the aluminum profiles with the powders, it goes into the curing oven. The powder, the thermosetting powder, then goes to melt and flows out on the surface of the powder, uh, powder aluminum profile surface. The powder in the curing oven starts to melt and flows out on the surface of the aluminum profile surface and it forms into a thick and even coating thickness. Now I'm at the quality inspection inspection laboratory. We have, you can see, we have many testing appliances. Now I will ask my colleague, QC department from QC department, to introduce what is it. This is the Indu scan. The scan of the Indu scan is the 然后这台设备是做棒的成分就是光谱仪这也是这是忘记是哪个国家的嗯对了 Hello everyone, welcome to our CNC workshop Shenzhen CNC Processing Center 
provides products for aerospace, automotives, high-speed rail, and also advanced home improvement. Shenzhen CNC processing ranges from milling, drilling, process cutting, and also punching. This is our most advanced CNC processing center. In this machine, we can produce 6.5 meters long aluminum profiles. The ones could be 500 to 600 millimeters. The aluminum profiles produced by this machine could be used for aircrafts, high-speed train, and helicopters. Chenxi Aluminum provides you T-slot aluminum profiles. T-slot aluminum is widely used for modular assembly industry. We have all dimensions such as 30-30, 40-40, 40-80 and so on.